A shooting at the 111 Club, 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide beef. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Appears we didn't get all of it. You look like you were a big pain. I don't in the want neck. no part of it. The captain's now fine. I have a much lower All right, guys. My name is Tetra Ninja, and welcome to the third and final case of the vice cases that is. Uh, this good. one is called Manifest Destiny. Everyone has their vices. And this <laughs> is, uh, well, let's just say if you like Phelps, then you're probably not going to like the end of this mission. <laughs> but uh, I will get, well, you'll, we'll just see it play out, right? Right. <laughs> kind of uh, kicking the balls if you ask me. But anyways, let's just keep going. We're rolling here. We're going outside. And as you can see, this mission we actually run into, I think, our old partner from the traffic cases. So you'll see there when we get there. But anyways, let's not let our douchey partner you drive, drive there. I need to go over the case notes. To the 111 club. Wherever the hell he is, if he could hurry up in his ugly damn suit. And jerk off. Parker and Green are going toe to toe for the top job. There's a change in the wind. About time. This wind will be like a tornado, Phelps. Parker's got a puritanical streak. You never know we'll get swept up in a thing like that. Homicide guys are already inside. Bukowski. Phelps. Back again. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick, 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. The waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who were the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree? We've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no-piece. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. All right. Do you guys like shredded black men? <laughs> Must have pumped a dozen rounds into him. Certainly sends a message. Okay, first clue we need to go to is actually in his trumpet case. I can't, I can't remember where it is, though. I think it's over here. Oh, yeah. When you're ready to have a civil conversation... It's with the uh, guy taking pictures of it. Well-maintained custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. So you have to just lift and drop each one of these knobs, and you'll see in a second. Put it down. Click. What's that click? Middle one. Click. <laughs> Last one. It doesn't have to be in, in any specific order. There you go. Neat trick. The case must have cost more than the trumpet. P pick up this blue room ticket. <sighs> now should follow up on the musician angle. Then the syringe. He kept his stash close at hand. Then we actually have to go to this bro lying on the ground. He's seen better days. I'm used to laying over top of naked women with big bushes, not black men. But anyways, <laughs> not bad. You get to his pockets. There you go. We have a new source. Or is this coming from what's left in circulation? Okay. Then we gotta go into this back room right here. 
pick up this case of cigarettes. A dozen packs to a carton, a hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months' supply. And then these uh, illegal weapons. Zoom in. These look brand new. Never fired. They haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. Is this guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? He shoved it up his butt. Army surplus morphine, mm -hmm. army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. And finally, this right here. I don't know if this necessarily counts as a clue, but we'll search him anyways. This is your army buddy, so. Bad luck, Eddie. Okinawa couldn't kill you, but knowing the wrong people in this city. Yeah, I don't think there's any in the body, but you're gonna search a safe to show that this wasn't a robbery because there's still money in it. They didn't even try to crack the safe. All right, now we just gotta do the interview with the damsel right here. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, administrative by squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Shooting incident. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. <laughs> Full of holes. <laughs> it's doubt. You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you? This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day massacre. Are you getting the picture? Knowledge of McGoldrick. Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. This is truth. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Eddie was in over his head, but he was a decent boss. All right, that's all we need here. So now we're gonna actually head out and go to the blue room if I can find the hell the exit is. Oh, there we go. The blue room is the the famous bar where that German singer oh, is, spends a lot of time. Can you drive to this one? Do we know where we're going? Yes, bitch. Go and drive. Chauffeur. Let's go in here. Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lichtman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bow. Or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries under Stumfuhrer? I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! How about you get a drink while I see to this? Will you sit down? Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. Army surplus morphine. 
People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. It is doubt. You can do this the easy way with me, or I can call my partner back over. I can assure you he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? Black man don't supply nothing. You think there's a black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? He'd be dead in a minute. White man supplies, black man buys. Morphine overdose victims. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. Once again, this is doubt. <laughs> the only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but the music didn't love him. What does that mean? It means that he just wasn't that good. He was a sad, lonely cat. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. You're so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotic? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words. Very noble. But... Words are just words, Colfellas. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cullen? Do you know where to find him? This time of day? You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. And here marks the downfall of Cole Phelps Detective. Uh, I was really, really upset with this part of the game. It's, it's, it was just such a downfall for your character who's been so pristine this entire time. Let's see when we get to the end. <laughs> it's, every time I think about it, it's very, very upsetting. The first time I played it, I just like pissed off. I was like, no, how could you? But not everyone is perfect, right guys? Right. How are cops so have so much pickup around corners? <laughs> We're back in our old school car, as you can see as well. <laughs> Whoops! Don't want to get too close. Oh, too close! Come on, you going? Power slide. This mission was just very ang made. I'm not gonna talk about it no more. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. Just, uh. So, how are you guys enjoying the series so far now that we have this downtime? Uh, let me know what improvements I could be making. Vin, I've been trying to fix the audio for you guys as much as possible, but we're on the tail scene that's here, so.
LAPD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three, if you'll follow me. Oh, man, I really wish that he didn't do that. I, from the moment that happened, I knew it was going to be his downfall. But let's do this interview with Mickey Cohen. LAPD, we have some questions. Hi, regarding... Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine, just fine, Roy. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps, Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Me, Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime. Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman too, Cole. Johnny was at Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? Or are you gonna stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? Finkelstein drug operation. Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. Doubt. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment? Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit. I don't condone it. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine? Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. 111 shooting incident. We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. It is once again doubt. So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life. Quickly. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for Schmendricks, like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But, uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. We have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright that easy. We'll see. Oh, that fucking rat Stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is L.A.'s most famous madam. And everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Ors have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Coolidge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that.
This way. All right, so we just have to go visit the guy who's working the case. So if you're unfamiliar, if I've left the cutscenes out, a bunch of army morphine yeah. went missing, and then this guy's in charge of figuring out what's going on. You got a minute? Sure, Cole, any time. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the morphine? A case of BARs, a case of Thompsons, a crate of Valor smokes. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. Here it is. So, how do so we, we connect the docks to the So, we just gotta the 111 club. hit the half on everything that we found previous. Strips off me at the Grand Enough Jury. to arm Peace three companies. Now. Now the DA wants my Brownings. Here's our backroom arsenal from the 111 club. Sigs. Need a drink. This is I the great we recovered. Again. And morphine. I want to make homicide. Half a million cigarettes loose on the streets of LA. 